nice, fuck for lively, so so just fuck the night. Thanks to Dabs, they are motivated the youths them. Seem as if he was there telling the youths them to take the football thing serious. Even showing skills, stating that he should be at Manchester United. All a spin like Anthony over United. Dirty United fans, could it be at Newcastle? Hold that 2 nil there. Sex for nice, fuck for lively. So so just fuck the nighty. Skin me out, fuck me nightly. Entertainment feed community. Well, go on. What do you understand? They are good time Sundays community members. Enough love and blessings on the Sunday. Me nightly. Love me like me, are your wifey. Little for you, shatty. Let us rough up the Sunday with the official music video for the song titled Guilty Pleasure by dance and artist Peaches Adaba. Sex for nice, fuck for lively. So so just fuck the nighty. Skin me out, fuck me nightly. Love me like me, are your wifey. You put your hand on me throat like a necklace. Shout out to Kingston College and Idel. They won the 2023 Boys and Girls Champs. <laughs> As we mentioned, Champs though, popular dancer, one monster boss. He took to social media where he shared this stating. When you can't kill me so easy, thank God I'm okay. Prayers. And just see a bug of crying face emoji. After Champs, not again. I love my life. Prayers. Me can't believe man rushed me last night. Watch yourself in the streets. Man, nah, go back there, so No time. Kiss me teeth. Anyway, thank God I'm still alive. And well, just be careful out there. It's a corrupted and fucked up world. Wap, 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 wap. On the recent episode of Tea Time Talk with Shelly and Kuran, this happened. Put up little Addy for me, please. <laughs> little Addy, when it comes to baby Akil Palmer, you are the father. The only thing him for to know is step up and be a man because he's not a kid anymore. And it's not his mother's choice. He needs to be a man and step up and do what he needs to do. Yes. Little Addy later took to social media to bash Shelly and Karan, the host of Tea Time Talk with Shelly. Yeah, what do you mean, sir? Shelly or whatever your name. Remember, some my father used to f you and your husband find out and kick you out of your mouth and in life. And from that, you carry feelings. But two DNA tests was done with me, the mother, and the child, and two of them came back negative. So. You can come off our name now. End of message. Shelly and Karan took to social media where she shared a screenshot of Little Addy's response video with the caption stating, Kick out, I know your mother this my love. Anyway, me will dress you up on episode 16. In the meantime, go take care of your youth, the son that is dead stamp of you and your mama. My kids are being taken care of. Can't carry feelings for somebody my run from. LOL. I guess Shelly is stating that you run from the relationship with Vibes Cartel. Maybe I'm correct, maybe not. We are continuing though, that wasn't the only thing Shelly and shared. She also stated this, little boy, no boy nor girl, can't keep me out of nowhere. Titles, she's stating that she have titles to her house, her houses. We are continuing though, mind me drop the reality on where your father's money was going. Don't press me, PSA. So Shelly and Karana threaten Lick Adi and tell him be careful and don't let you leak where Vibes Cartel money was going. Is that something that is embarrassing to the family? Is that something that is embarrassing to little Adi? I don't know, but community members state your thoughts on that. Still, down in other hours, that same night, Shelly and Karan was at an event and she decided to go live on Instagram. Each song play, Shelly and Karan took jobs at little Adi and Shorty. Shelly and enough love, but oh yeah, if you have big up the father, you have big up Vibes Cartel, you say you have love for Vibes Cartel, keep on a big him up and so on, but at the same time you keep on a blast the man baby mother. That no look good Miss Curran, that no look good none at all. MC Nuffy sharing his views on the matter, reshared little Addy's video with the caption stating, Members of my father, Shelly or whatever your name, come out of the people in business, let them fix things, it's not help you helping the little girl, you're doing this for your YouTube and hype. <laughs> feelings you are bring it continues but that part isn't of much relevance but you hear what mc nuffy stated oh and just that alone with the recent episode <laughs> jaja some guests go up on that damn show they see man 
L.A. Lewis. Here's what you have to say about Bounty Killer, Elephant Man, and Dancer Artist Spice. Spice are real, real, real artists. You know. Remember, I Bounty them the world be a spice, you know. Um, elephant them the world be a spice, you know. And then them the call producer say, Hey, the boy, what put spice for them show when I sing for them? Nothing at all. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Link for that full episode will be provided in the description of the video and also pinned at the top of the comment section. We're moving on as a matter of fact, back to the music. Guilty pleasures. Give me out and him say what a pum pum kyo she a call off him phone and I say she a go short but him put it on me. Look how you don't come yet. I put it too good and I'm ready for that. And just speeches alone we also have Ricardo Singh with the official music video for the song titled Paparazzi. I always feel like someone is watching me. Link for that one will be in the description of the video. Once again, that one is titled Paparazzi by Dance and Artist Ricardo Singh. I always feel like someone is watching me. Those paparazzi, they keep on watching me. The other day we got news stating gang violence, illegal rafting, forced closure of a section of what River. It said that the authorities have moved a section of the White River in St. Anne due to a rise of illegal activities spread by unlicensed rafting. Gangs from Clarendon and St. Catherine have infiltrated the space, leading to the intimidation of licensed raft operators and disruption of tourist activities. The entertainment feed community, Dr. Let's start on the matter. As the injustices in Jamaica continue, we see where the government is now making moves to remove people from the White River in St. Anne's. Now, amid the high unemployment rate, the high crime rate, the low paying jobs, the lack of opportunities, these people have found a way to provide for themselves and their families without breaking the laws and without causing harm to other people. So explain to me now, why is it necessary for the government to restrict these people from earning an income when they are unable to provide meaningful employment for these very said people. Now, it is alleged that there are gangs linked to the activities that take place on the White River. Now, if you look at Jamaica, there are people fussing the markets, people fussing the car parks, the taxi guys may fight, people fussing the bus parks. Wherever people work, they're gonna have disagreements. That doesn't necessarily mean that gangs are involved. Now, in most places, extortion also exists. Now, if you is a person that embraces people's well-being, like the way I do, you would understand that the guys who cut the bamboos the raft builders, the raft captains, the masseuse, the vendors, and everyone who ply their trades on the White River should stand up for their rights in times like these. When you restrict these people from doing their activities in nature, it's a river. What do you as the leaders of Jamaica have in place for them? Is it that you plan to legitimize what you now see as a promising industry? Hand it off to your elite friends and have these very same guys who discovered this fruitful business to come and work for you guys for minimum wage? Jamaicans, residents of St. Anne's, St. Mary, and surrounding their environments, stand up for the right. Do not make them push them out. Do not. For more content from Dr. Led, a link for his page will be provided in the description of the video and also pinned at the top of the comment section. Quick question just before we close up. What is wrong with the mentally challenged people and the police vehicles in Jamaica? <laughs>
Make sure you remember songs to check out Guilty Pleasure by Peaches Adama. Me told her name, I say what a pum pum cute. She a call off him phone and I say she a go short, but him put it on me. Look, I don't come yet. I post it too good and I'm ready for that. Paparazzi by Ricardo Sin. I always feel like someone is watching me. Those paparazzi. Nation, that right for now. You see what time o'clock, you see what time o'clock, where Orion get the f*** out of here. And, as usual, my people.